Okay, so uh, last night we had the um, the second semi final in the, in the twenty fourteen World Cup, um, and uh, it was a contrast. It was a complete contrast with the first one. Um, it went like I said. Uh, it went to no goals. Uh, it went to extra time, and it went to a shootout. Um, and um, Argentina won. Um, uh, it, you know, all the um, coverage this morning is uh, saying that it's uh, that it was a dull game, a tedious affair. I didn't think that at all. I mean, if you were looking for entertainment and stuff, okay, maybe it was, but it was a very interesting encounter between two really good teams, um, uh, and you know, both sides, you know, as I kind of expected, both sides just worked to neutralize the the cutting edge of the other side, so that. Uh, like the most amazing uh, statistic of the match is that Messi did not touch the ball inside the uh, eighteen yard area of the uh, you know the the Dutch box did not touch the fucking ball and given that his whole game is you know running into the area with the ball at his feet um and and you know and, um, teasing uh, st- defenders into giving away dangerous free kicks and whatnot um. It, it, that's amazing. In 120 minutes, he d- never touched the ball inside the Dutch box. Um, um, but, but I thought it was a, I thought it was a fascinating encounter. Um, and uh, you know the the the, the Argentinians neutralized uh, Robin and uh, Van Persie. Van Persie was uh, was on. He was doubtful for the match because he had a stomach bug thing, and um, he was definitely off form. Like he was almost invisible, really. And in fact, he was substituted in the second half, taken off. Um, um, and uh, Huntelaar came on, and um, but the, the the Argentinians neutralized them really, and uh, cut off the supply, and uh, you know surrounded them as soon as they had got the ball, and um, and the the Dutch did the same to to Messi and Cole at the other end. So um, it was really uh, you know they both kind of um, it was really, but it was it was a terrific encounter. I mean it was I thought it was amazing. It was the the, um, the most amazing. Um, clash, like really serious clash, you know, really going for it, um, but all the um, all the physical encounters were just short of, of of fouls, just short of yellow cards. I mean, it was a brutal encounter, but there was no maliciousness in, in it at all. There were guys knocked out cold on the field. Um, Mascherano was out cold. He went up. There was a clash of heads. They both going for the same ball. And, um, you know, he, he literally came down from that and he was stumbling around like a horse that had been shot. Um, and then he boomed down. I mean, there's, there was just no faking it, you know. And he was out cold and he ought not to have come back on, but he did come back on. I mean, you're supposed to stay out of the game for two weeks after you had a concussion uh, incident like that. But anyway, he, he did come back on and um, did really well too. And um, uh, it made some absolutely amazing stops. Um, one in particular against Rob where Robin was just straight in on goal one on one and he just got in there with a foot and, and a beautiful tackle cleans away so absolutely beautiful anyway it was amazing and then it went to penalties and um, uh, and um, the, you know the Dutch did something that I just cannot understand which is that the first penalty was taken by Vlaar who's a defender like what you know you don't you've got some of the best strikers in the world Van Persie well Van Persie was off but uh, Robin and Vekin Huntelaar and uh, Schneider and you know some absolutely great strikers of the ball and you send up a fucking central back to take the first penalty he missed the first penalty and the Dutch were on the back foot through the, for the rest of the shootout um, and then later on Schneider lost the penalty but they already lost it and anyway Argentina are through Argentina missed not, no penalty in fact they're as I say, their 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 keeper um, saved the Schneider thing, and um, and he saved the uh, Vlaar one, the first and the last Dutch penalty. Um, so um, that's going to be great encounter with um, with uh, with Germany on Sunday uh, in the final. Uh, uh, you know, it's a replay. This is the third time that uh, Germany and Argentina have met, uh, 86, 1990, and now here. And um, I think it, uh, um, it's gone one way. Argentina won in uh, 86, Germany won in 1990, and um, so this is the third encounter. And um, 
I fancy Germany, although you know it could go either way. Argentina are really good; they get real steel in them, and um, they. I was really impressed by their discipline last night. They were like physical but disciplined, you know, and they were determined not to. Be, I don't think there was, there was one yellow card, but there was nothing. Like where you just go, oh no, no, that's bad. But um, it was nice. It was it was a good game of football, and if you like football, it was very interesting. Um, I mean, I mean, imagine if you were down the pub, um, watching it. Uh, you know, it would have been not entertaining enough to make it a good evening. But um, it was it was interesting, and um, so uh, we shall see. Uh, and uh, as I say, Holland Holland were very good too. They were better than I expected, in fact, last night. And I, as I said yesterday, um. Uh, they are going to really uh, give Brazil a horrible time because Holland are good and they they want to go away with something and they would love to go away with a win over Brazil like that's that's a feather in your cap and a win over Brazil in Brazil yeah and third place to play off yeah they'd love to do that plus it means it's an opportunity for some of those boys to you know to rack up more goals you know and uh, in fact some of them uh, are probably in in the running for golden boots and whatnot um and so uh, i expect them to i think they'll beat brazil three or four nil i, I really do and um so um okay